Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at Ulysse Norden El Toro Perpetual Calendar GMT. You can see this dual time perpetual calendar sports watch on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images, and naturally complete pricing details. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this watch is as handsome as it is complex. It features a combination of yellow gold, blue ceramic, and gorgeous vulcanized blue rubber. Now it is large, 43.5 millimeters across the round of the case. That's not including the plus minus second time zone jumpers, and it's not including the crown. Now the watch is reasonably thin. 15 millimeters, when you consider the automatic winding and the incredible array of complications herein, that's actually quite slim, and it does feature a sloped bezel, so it's easy to slide this one underneath a sport jacket or blazer cuffs. Perhaps not the absolute tightest dress sleeves, but again, a watch with this much visual charisma and personality is not meant to hide underneath your sleeve. From lug to lug, it's actually quite broad. 52 millimeters from extremity to extremity. You can see that I'm cinching this one down a little bit because that doesn't tell the full story. The watch does have a little bit of a rigid strap flare phenomenon to it, which is to say because the strap abuts the case and conforms to the flank of the case, you can't pull it straight down as you could if it were on some sort of pivoting hinge and freely swinging at the edge. It actually wears more like a watch of almost 60 millimeters lug to lug because of the strap flare. So ergonomically, that's the equation you're looking at. If you're the type who loves Hublot 48 millimeter King Powers, Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore 44s, the biggest of the big Panerai, this is going to be your watch because this watch wears large and with all of this gold contrasting with beautiful blue, it has immense presence, it has immense personality, it's meant to be seen and it will be. But everything that touches the skin, while it might fight a smaller wrist, I would say realistically 16.5, 16 centimeters is probably the lower limit for this watch. Everything that touches the skin is awesome. The vulcanized rubber strap feels like a million dollars. It's beautifully tapered from the top and from the side, so the watch has incredible visual coherence from case to strap and beyond. You'll also note that on the underside, it features a wonderful ribbed texture that allows it to bend easily on the soft underside of the wrist and it features an incredible bimetallic titanium and 18 karat yellow gold double deployant with the security of twin trigger actuation. With the twin triggers this one is never going to pop open accidentally and that's a reassuring thing on a large and heavy watch of immense value and complexity. Now the dial is surrounded by a gorgeous blue ceramic 24-hour scale. It has AM PM distinction and it's keyed to the 24-hour hand that you can see just below my thumb. Now the watch does feature two time zones and since 1994 Ulysse Norden under the initial prompting of Ludwig Oxlin, who designed the system, has offered some of the best dual times in the business. Now, the great thing is, with these jumpers on the case flank themselves executed in blue ceramic, you can jump the local time forward and backwards as you travel without altering the amplitude of the balance. That is, it doesn't stop the timing of the watch, it doesn't stop the heartbeat of the watch, so even as you jump time zones, you can make adjustments without altering the precision of this timepiece. And that's a good thing because it is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer, this Ulysse Norden in-house caliber 32. Now the other standout feature of this watch, and I will move the minute hand to show it to better effect, is that it is a complex calendar. It has the day, it has the date, it has the month, and not only does it have the date, it has a grand date, a double digit date. What's remarkable about this perpetual calendar system, again, Ludwig Oxlund's own design, first seen in 1996, is that you can set it backwards and forwards. So if you overshoot by accident, no need to wait for it to run down or send it back to the manufacturer. Moreover, because you can adjust it manually, this is one of the few perpetual calendars that doesn't fall prey to the year 2100 quirk in the Gregorian calendar when every other conventional perpetual calendar is going to have to go back to the factory. So very user friendly both in terms of setting the time forward or backwards as you travel and in terms of setting the perpetual calendar. The nicest thing about it perhaps is that all perpetual calendar functions can be controlled through the crown. It is very user friendly and because there are no extra pusher adjusters on the case flank for the calendar system, this one is 100 meter water resistant. So you can actually take this dual time perpetual calendar in the pool this summer or in the waves 
as you please. Now you also see that aesthetically it's outstanding. With Cote de Genève finishing across the dial itself, a lot of movement treatment elements, including exposed screws, the Cote de Genève, the skeletonization that shows the underlying mechanism of the calendar. It's very much like looking at a movement without having to remove the watch and view the display case back. You'll also note, very versatile, this watch is fully loomed. The chapter ring features individual loomed indices for the hours, and the hours and minutes at center are easy to view in low or no light. Now when you turn the watch over, you can see the Ulysse Norden UN Caliber 32, COSC certified Swiss chronometer, in-house, dual time, perpetual calendar, automatic winding with a 45 hour power reserve. This is an exceptionally sophisticated 32 joule movement. It's essentially worthy of the aesthetics of this watch because the watch is a visual knockout. Thanks to the UN Caliber 32, it's also a technical knockout. You can see it and you can own it on watchyouwant.com.